got my LED light for this story. It's like almost 1 a.m. here. I don't even know what time. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock in the morning in Edinburgh. Anywho, I'm gonna tell you how I ended up at a University of Edinburgh dorm. Our flight to Edinburgh got delayed twice and it was honestly fine, like nothing wrong with that. But I'm editing on the plane five minutes into the plane ride. All of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder from a girl behind me. And so I turn around and she's like, excuse me, like, have you ever had a panic attack? And I was like, yeah, like I weirdly enough had one today. And she was like, oh, like my boyfriend doesn't know how to like help me. Like, can you help me? Can you distract me? I was like, oh, sure. So we ended up talking the whole flight and she's like having these panic attacks, whatever. So I didn't get any work done. We Ubered to this like random hostel near the University of Edinburgh to pick up our keys for the place we booked on booking.com. We get the keys, whatever, it took a really long time. We get to these dorms and we're just like, okay, we don't know what room we're in, what building, how to get in, now what? And it's raining and it's midnight and it's freezing cold outside. <laughs> whatever, many emails sent later, many phone calls sent later, many Snapchats exchanged later, because I weirdly enough have like friends that go to the school. Um, we finally figure out how to get in. And it's like 30 minutes go by, maybe like 40. <sighs> we walk in. Okay, like here's our room, right? No, it doesn't end there. We lose the key. Charlotte's like, oh my God, guys, I can't find the key. And we're like, what, what do you mean? We just walked in the building, but she left the key in the door. And we walk in and this is a full on suite. We have five University of Edinburgh dorms, empty dorms to ourselves. It's Five rooms, two bathrooms, a whole suite to ourselves. There's nobody else living here. It's so odd. And it, it's really creepy, not gonna lie. Like, this looks like a dungeon. Um, but we were trying to save money. <laughs> so uh, let's just hope that all goes well. I guess I'll see you guys in the morning for our first full day in Edinburgh. So, but it literally just feels like we're in Harry Potter, like, I can't even explain it, so. I feel like I really need, like, a wool scarf since I've been here. These ones are really nice, so I really like one of these two. I don't know, I kind of like the darker one. Yay, we made it! It's actually so cool looking. Like, does this even look like a real place to you? Like what? <laughs> okay, we had to get our tickets for 1.30, so now I think we're gonna start walking kind of ish down the Royal Mile. I think we walked most of it, but Oh my god, this is so cute. This is insane. So freaking pretty. On TikTok, I saw this really cute place in the park known for their hot chocolate and we just ordered it. Thankfully, there's no line because we do have to be back in like 30-ish minutes for the castle, but I'm so excited. It comes with like toasted marshmallow and like all this stuff. And look how cute it is. 
I'm obsessed. It's cinnamon, toasted marshmallows, and like dark chocolate shavings. It's so good. Okay, we made it up a majillion flights of stairs. We finally made it back to the castle. And I'm so excited, but I'm like really hot. I'm not complaining because I'm actually so cold. what I got for dinner. I got five mini meatballs and some garlic bread because I was so full from earlier. So I got something small and it was like, okay, it was like, whatever. But now we're on our way to go see Ghostbusters in this really nice movie theater. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. It's actually so insane. Like everyone gets like a full, big, red chair. And it comes with popcorn, it's so fancy, but the chair like extends if you can like lay on it. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. All right, this is where our movie is. I'm not sure how to get in, but oh my gosh, this is so freaking pretty. Look how cute. I'm so, this is the cutest thing ever. And we also got a free popcorn. I think we're over here. Cool. Um, this is the comfiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, the color difference. Good morning. I'm walking to meet up with one of Natalie's really good friends for coffee. She happens to go to school here in Edinburgh, so we texted and we were like, all right, like, let's just get coffee. Like, let's catch up, whatever. So I'm meeting her from 8.30 in the morning. I'm by myself. And then I'm gonna meet my roommates out at the Royal Yacht to meet them for breakfast. And then we have a tour of the Royal Yacht, which is gonna be 
super fun. But guys, it's actually so nice out today. Better than yesterday, thank God. Yesterday was actually freezing cold. Freezing. And I can actually wear a skirt with normal tights. the bus is like very like haunted theme it's so cute that's what we're going on i'm so excited by all of our Cromwell's army. He's said to appear every single time the castle is in danger. Another ghost that haunts Edinburgh Castle is the ghost of the little Piper boy. Back in the 1800s, they found a series. The tour is hop on, hop off. It is breezy. Look at this. 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 Thank you. 